Hi everyone, my name is Dervil Clark and today I'm going to do some tapping around resistance to taking action in business. And I don't know about you, but there are certain tasks that I find easy and there are other tasks that I don't find so easy. And sometimes I have resistance and I procrastinate and then when I do decide to do it, it doesn't take me as long as I thought in my head. So just a little bit of tapping to support you. And you can find out more about me at www.dervilclark.com. My Facebook page is Dervilclark EFT and I'm on Twitter at Dervilclark1. So what I find happening to me is on a day that I'm not feeling full of energy when I get up in the morning, I can tend to put things off and I make them out to be a bigger task in my head than what they actually are. Instead of getting stuck in and taking action and if I need support to ask for that support. So this is just a little taster of tapping that will help you to move through resistance and to start taking action on the tasks that you want to complete in your business. So if you're not familiar with tapping already, you can check out my YouTube channel and there's a, an introduction to EFT video there. So I suggest that you watch that first and then come back to this one. Take full responsibility for your own health and well-being while tapping. If strong memories or emotions do show up for you, please contact myself or another qualified practitioner to support you. Because we inherit lots of limiting beliefs and fears and they are brought into our energy field and our subconscious mind generally from the ages of when we're in the womb up to seven years of age and a lot of our behavior you know we may wonder well why do I continue to do that well the secret is to find the root cause as to that behavior and what's what's the underlying fear what's going on for you so let's begin so just write down what task do you want to complete today where in your body are you resisting doing it What's the downside of you completing it? What are you afraid of? What's the upside of you completing it? So just think of it. Where is it in your body? I'm just tuning into mine now, thinking of something that I want to do that I've been putting off and I'm finding it all down in my lower abdomen. Okay, so that's actually in my sacral chakra, yeah. So that's about creativity as well. So. There is a block there, so we want to clear it. So rate it on a scale of one to 10. How high does that feel for you? Describe it. What does it feel like in your body? Is it tense? What color is it? Is it, is it gray? Is it dark? Is it jumpy energy? Is it stagnant energy? Does it feel like a block? Tune in to exactly get the most exact description and you'll find that the energy will clear very fast for you and you'll feel much better. So let's go. Even though I have this number 10 resistance in my sacral chakra, it feels heavy, it looks dark, it feels uncomfortable. What if I can start to let this go now? I deeply and completely love and accept all of me. Even though I have this resistance to taking action, and doing that task that I've been putting off in my business. What am I afraid of? Am I afraid it might bring me more clients? Maybe I'm telling myself I'm not ready for them. Maybe I'm afraid of what it may bring to me. Maybe I'm afraid I can't handle it. I choose to let this limiting fear and belief release from my sacral chakra now bringing in peace and creativity to my body. Even though I'm feeling this number 10 resistance to taking action in my business, in my sacral chakra, it feels like a block in my back. It feels like it's hard. It doesn't come easy for me. So it's easier to put it off. I'm telling myself that I can't do it. I'm telling myself it's too hard. But what if I stopped that negative mind chatter and brought in some more empowering thoughts and words and feelings instead? What if I can get excited about completing that task 
and feeling proud of me too. So deep breath in and blow it all the way out. Now we'll just tap through the rounds, tap through the points and I'm just going to keep going for the purposes of the time that I want to keep this video to. So let's tap through the rounds. The points, all of this resistance, this resistance in my sacral chakra. I don't want to start work. I just want to take it easy instead. This task isn't easy for me to do. It's not in my zone of genius. I would much prefer to be doing something else instead. But what if I can know that I have everything within me to complete this task? And if I get stuck, I can just open my mouth and ask for support. I can ask the universe to send me somebody to support me. Maybe this task is something that I can hand over to somebody else if it really feels like it's not right for me to do it. But what if I can give it a go first? What if I can release the blocks to learning, to taking action, to moving forward in my business and knowing that there's somebody out there waiting for me to complete this task so that I can get my message out there and share it with more in the world. Who am I to deny people of my information, of my business and the service that I offer? So I choose to let this resistance go now and just ask yourself, what colour does your body need to come in to lift and lighten that resistance in your body? And I'm just going to bring in the colour yellow. So just imagine that yellow colour coming in through the top of your crown. And just I'm going to do this quickly, but you can do this slow. Bring it down through your head, every single part of your head, your neck, your shoulders, right down into every cell of your body, into your sacral chakra, wherever that block is. And the sacral chakra is very much about creativity and we need to be creative. We need to express our creativity in our business. That's part of it. So just allow that yellow energy to move into every cell of your body and just tap through the points, allowing this fear to lift and lighten, bringing in this yellow sunshine energy to lift and lighten and take my fear away so that I can take inspired action. I choose to get excited now. Imagine I can complete this task and feel good about it. And what if I can do it in a fun way? It doesn't have to be so serious all of the time. What if I stop taking myself so seriously? I choose to get excited now. I choose to fill my body with enthusiasm and energy to complete my task so that I can move forward and inspire others to do the same. Allowing my brain to be open up to my intuition, inspiration and exciting ideas. Perhaps I can do this task in a much better way now with clarity of mind I choose to allow my mind to be crystal clear. Take a deep breath in and blow it all the way out. And I suggest that you drink water while you're moving the energy as well. It's very important to stay hydrated. So I hope that that quick tapping round has helped you and supported you. I would love your feedback. Just comment down below this video and let me know how it helped you. Have you completed your task? And I see my light is buzzing now, so I'm going to sign.